push your mark out the way. See the run's gonna be PSVQ 73AR. Plug it in, play along with me. Let me know how to do it in the comments below. Explosive O, 25% chance to shoot sticky tears. You know what? Why not? I'm not a fan of it, to be quite honest with you. Because you could actually hurt yourself. You could definitely hurt yourself. But we are gonna play as Eve. Last completion mark for her, and then she's done. And it's the beast run, which is pretty quick. It usually goes pretty quick. I want to say it goes quick. I think you could do it in like 30 minutes of flat, maybe. I've done that before. Curse the Towers, absolutely not. And now we are in Horror Babylon status with Explosive O. It's kind of dangerous. Let's see, we're getting our shop. Can't do anything about that. And let's blow everybody up here. Explosive O is pretty good for bosses, though, but not good for bosses that hop off the screen. For example, we are going to the beast, so Dogma loves to get off the screen. The horsemen like to get off the screen. So, something along the lines of that is pretty tough. Oh, I, I didn't even need to use a bomb there. Immediately protect our HP. We don't want to fall in the same situation with before. And that's the thing with Eve. You can go into Horror Babylon status early, get some nice stat boost. But you are putting yourself at risk to take bad damage just like that. Something got to really, really be careful with. Alright, let's continue on to the left. Careful, careful. Bop him. There we go. These guys are annoying. These might be my, like, the most hated enemy, in my opinion, for me. You know what goes well with Explosive O? Some tier rays. So we could get some tier rays going. A little wire coat hanger, Mr. Dolly. Anything along the lines of that, I think we'll be okay early. The more opportunity to get Explosive O to pop, the better it is for us. E versus Dingle Dangle here. Explosive O works beautiful on this. I just want to show you. There you go. Watch well, this HP. Oh, he finessed me. Always get rid of add-ons. Be careful with the creep on the ground. That creep on the ground is just going to be annoying for us. There we go. Explosive O took him out. And I needed... Hey, wire coat hanger is perfect. Exactly what we needed. Let's continue on. Let's just get on out of here. We want to go as fast as we can. And make sure we're good. Let's go straight to it. Got to do a beast run. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I could. And start, we can start playing as Samson. I'm super pumped about that, man. Very, very excited to fight Samson. Oh, not fight, but play as Samson. And we did Eve really quickly. I think it was, what? Like, same thing like Blue Baby. When we did Blue Baby run, we did it probably like two or three runs and we were done. And uh, we did the same thing with Eve. We had one gigantic run, which worked out beautifully, beautifully for us. Got the Delirium fight out the way, the Mega Satan fight out the way. Then we had a Greed run, obviously, for that completion mark. And then now we have this run. Oh no, we just had uh, a great mother run. And now we got this run. So only a few runs it took just to complete her, which is awesome, man. And that's what you want, man. You want to be able to get these runs out the way as fast as you can. Bob's rotten head. I'm going to grab it, but I'm not going to take it. I want to stick with the razor blade. You may never know. We can find some HP, put ourselves down to get a nice little stat boost if needed. I'm okay with that. Secret was probably in here somewhere. I'm not gonna take that risk though. Again, HP survivability is key. Wanna make sure we're good on that. Um, I might as well grab everything, secure myself, and then pop razor blade if I need to. Again, with explosive, o, I'm not super concerned about damage. We should be able to nuke any boss that comes to path with us. Careful with this. Ah oh, man, we lost our devil deal. Again, explosive o got me. That's what explosive o is doing. Eve versus Gemini. Shout out to the Geminis. It should be pretty simple. Again, he's an enemy that does not go off the screen, so Explosive O should just annihilate him. We just gotta get it popping a little bit more faster. And enemies like this. See, Explosive O's on him. Just body him. Look at that. Took a good 50% off him. And he's done. We, see, we meet again. Jesus Juice. Nice little damage range up. Obviously, we didn't get a devil deal, which could hurt us in the run if we don't get that going. Treasure room farting, baby. I'm a big fan of yours. Come in and clutch when you need to. Push enemies ways. Let Explosive O do his thing. Yep. Grab another key and continue. It's Curse of the Lost, so expect to be lost rather quickly. Pop these guys first. Anybody chasing us? Look at that. Explosive O combo. Got two for one special. Just gotta remember, we can get hurt with Explosive O's. We gotta keep our distance if we feel like we need to run away. Pop that. I want. I think Seagram's on the left of here. It is. Let's go. What do you got for me? Whole lot of money. It'll be nice to save. I would love to go into the curse room too, but it'd be nice to save our careful, our HP. I want to go in the curse room, but our HP is 
a little dangerous right now. And it's kind of scaring me. I would love to play you too. I feel like we can get some pretty good value out of you. Probably drop a nice end. There's a soul heart. We could waste a bomb and go and get it. Which you see me, I'm doing right away. Now we can razor blade ourselves down, protect ourselves. But now the only important thing that we did that is we secured our devil deal. As long as we don't take any bad hits. This guy's blinded. Pop him. Explosive old again is going to do his thing. Just takes a little time. It looks like, look like, look at that. We got our bomb right back. Let's get rid of these guys. One at a time. They drop a lot of add-ons, especially that champion over there. If we don't get rid of them quickly and beautifully, he just ran right into the champion. And we got hit anyway. I got greedy there. I got a little selfish. I got too excited. Careful. Spiders. Dangerous with explosive bow. Alright, what do you got for me? A bomb and a key. I'll take it. Eight cents, three bombs, two keys. It'd be nice to entertain the shop. Maybe there's another soul heart in there. Go ahead and grab that if we need to, which we should. Let's work our way up. We got to really hope for an amazing devil deal. Something that's going to hold value. I mean, I don't, if it's brimstone, obviously I'm going to take it, but I wouldn't be a huge fan of it. Grab a silver dollar. Not really that useful considering that we're not going into the womb and beyond. We're actually just going straight for the beast run. But I'm going to hold it again. You need a trinket to unlock any tainted character. You drop the trinket in the mom foot fight. And then you go back in the all, not all path. You go back when you grab dad's note. And then it should turn into the red key. But we almost got rocked, by the way, by explosive. Oil. Pop you. So if again, if the run doesn't go well, we lose against the beast. At least we'll be able to unlock tainted Eve. And that's something It's still a nice little completion. Again, we are trying to get the dead God achievement. So we gotta get everything. So regardless, it's still something. Huge fan of that. Get rid of these guys. Obviously our stats are just super mediocre. We're sitting at 1.23 speed, 3.45 tier rate, and 3.32 damage. We could go into Horror Babylon status, but we're gonna wait on a little bit. Just to secure our HP. Even with the Soul Heart. Who's left? Okay. And there's our boss. Hopefully it's somebody easy. E for sustain. Now stain's gonna be a little tough. Especially the alternate version of him. I don't think explosive stays on him, but look at that. It took a huge chunk off him. We got really fortunate. He popped, you know what it is? He popped up, like just like that. Wait fast, and he kind of hurt himself. He should have just stayed on the ground. Any enemy that hops off screen is dangerous. Get mom's lipstick. Let's see what we get in this devil deal. Betrayal. Enemies can hit each other with their projectiles and start in fighting. Eh, I think I'm gonna save my HP for it. Not, I don't think it's that worth it. I yeah, I don't think it's that worth it. Let's just continue on. Maybe if it was something better, I would take it. Like, Backstab is huge at the main. We just had one of those runs. Something that's worth it. I just don't think that's super worth it right now. Careful with that. Maybe Secret Rooms again on the left. I'm going to try it. It is. Let's go. Oh, I, I, the Mushroom kind of made it obvious, to be honest with you. And there is an arcade. We can get some money out of this and play it out and get into Horror Battle on status that way. But again, I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that right now. That's too risky. But you can also make an argument saying the more damage you have, the faster you can eliminate enemies. Clear room quicker. Ah, uh, what a pill. Horrible. All right, let's just do it. Let's just get into horror Babylon status. Ooh, but you know what? This could drop soul hearts. Take that. I love a nice machine like this. Nice little soul hearts. It could drop uh, tarot cards, runes. I don't think we have unlocked the runes just yet, though. All right, let's continue going this way. It's not a blood donation machine, but I think we'll be fine. I feel like we're doing this room completely again. I remember these guys from the last floor. As you see, stats are still pretty bad. We have no stat increased. I think it was what, Jesus Juice? That was it, and a couple range ups, like, and wire co hanger. So again, two, two stat ups, uh, but absolutely nothing else going for itself. So a little dangerous, especially against the beast. And our devil deal was pretty bad. I'm happy to get a devil deal. Keep that perk going. But, you know, it is what it is. We have time to get this run out the way. Work our way down. Get rid of these guys. These guys are crazy. Not so much these guys. It's pretty. Their patterns are pretty normal. It's the other one with the little yellow corn on them. Those guys are wild. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Pop you. One cent, three bombs, four keys. Extremely mediocre economy wise. Let's go up and hope for the best. I'm like super tempted to just go to Horror Babylon. If we can find another Soul Heart, I'll do it. I'll use the Razor Blade. 
I just don't feel like it's safe right now. But there's enough red hearts on the ground. I could probably protect this. And we do got the double card. A room like this is just annoying. Careful. Farting baby coming in clutch. That's that little gas you see. And this is the reason why. I wanted to wait a little bit. Those those hits, man. Those little random incoming damage. That's annoying. The good thing is I got my little bird. The bird's going to do all the work for me. I just stay a little bit protected. And I could end the horror on status there. There's a red heart there. If need be. But it's just that, that risk, man. And you know, honestly, a lot of people don't like playing with Eve. And I'm very surprised. I, I enjoy playing with her. I think that little gimmicky effect's awesome. Look at that. I just lost her devil and angel deal. Because I wasn't paying attention. Back 2% chance to spawn lunch when hit gets destroyed afterwards. Yeah, why not? You may never know. Even though a 2% so low. Careful. Careful with these guys charging. Go blow up because of explosive oh. Wait for it. Our stats are so low. Look, look how long it's taken to take enemies out. That's not a good sign. I think the boss is down. Oh, forgot about a treasure room. Could get something great. Explosive oh. Oh, man. All right, what is the sun? Could be pretty good. Let's see what's in here. Sack of pennies drop some money. Sure. Uh, we might as well see what's in here. Uh, King Baby's pretty cool. I don't think it holds any value. But you may never know. I'm a big fan of Conjoin. It sucks that I'm like destroying my donation machine so much. But you may never know. Grab that. Now I got a nice little King Baby going on. I'm gonna go into this big room, pop the sun card. I know it gets our max HP, but you gotta protect yourself, man. Let's go ahead and grab this devil card. We're gonna pop it in the boss. And I see, I, I kinda wanna just get this out the way, but there's a boss challenge room up top. We can go in there with our razor blade. And I think that's something we should consider. Cause since we need stats and obviously you get stats based off your challenges. Oh, this room could be so dangerous. Just because we, there's not a lot of room to pivot and get out. So we got to get rid of these guys fast. And I only picked up King Baby to try to get Conjoined. Just to get something, some pizzazz in the run, man. Conjoined is pretty good. Combine that with, with Brimstone, anything along the lines of that. So let's open this up. Speed up, size down, sure. Oh, this boss is annoying. But he's pretty squishy too. And our stats now are pretty strong. Well, we can't get hit. We got to be careful. With these little purple balls he got flying around. Get rid of them. Thank you. Big horn. Big fan of your work. Just don't spawn little horn, please. And you spawn little horn. Where's little horn? Did he just get, get murked? Where'd he go? Usually when he spawns little horn, he just stays in the fight. Alright, stay right here. Explosive O, do you think? There we go. This is the, the perk of having explosive O is the fact that it's going to blow him up. But we gotta be careful and pay attention to our surroundings. And that's what it is when you're fight when you're playing Binding Visor. Sometimes it's the surroundings that do you dirty. Grab that, grab that. And we need to find Red Heart in there. So Red Heart is all a whole heart? Yeah, we gotta take it. At this point we gotta do what we gotta do. And we can easily go in horror battle on status if need be. We just need to fight this boss. Get it out the way. Careful. And that's we got a nice little speed up. We're sitting at 1.53, which is okay. I prefer 1.6, 1.7. Eesh. Hey, it is what it is. Now we're back up stat-wise. 6.45 damage is good for now. But I want to protect myself first. Blow that up. Confuse everybody. Careful, don't get hit. These bomb flies could do some damage if we're not careful. So obviously get rid of those first. You want to blow them up over like areas with no terrain. That way they don't spawn anything. Eve versus the fall and immediately pop our devil card. Get some nice damage up. Preserve our HP. He's gonna do his little brimstone. Explosive again with enemies and bosses that stay put. They're gonna get murked. Look at that. And get Ouija board. Nice tears up. I'll take it. Max HP. I think a tears are what? Four? Hey man. That's pretty good. Let's go inside this cursed room. I know it's gonna hurt us, but we need something and we get nothing. Nice damage, nice tier rate. Can we make something out of this? Probably. But without any form of survivability or any more HP, it could be tough, tough, tough fight. Especially against the beast. 
Uh, let's see what we get in here. Spider butt. I'm gonna grab it. Pop it. I think it gives us spiders, right? No? Alright. Probably should have read it. Work our way up here. Let's go to the right. Absolute garbage. A nice another ball challenge would be phenomenal to run into right now. Careful. We got that spectral tier that I completely forgot I could hide behind rocks. Uh, four bombs, maybe secret rooms here. Ah. If I can find an RK, I'll pop that in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Look at that. They all blew up. I need like a really good devil deal. Like a really, really good devil deal to make this run and save the run. I gotta save the run somehow. Secret room probably. Super secret room? Yes, let's go. Secret room. And there's raw liver. I'll take that. And blow everybody up. Boom. Look at that. We have four red hearts. Beautiful. And look at the library. Yo, please be satanic Bible. Re Book of Revelations. Redeem the run. Redeem the run. And Book of Revelations. GG. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to raise the blade like crazy right now. Boom, 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 boom. Get a horror Babylon status. Grab the Book of Revelations. Pop the Book of Revelations. We're obviously going to get a horseman, but the positive here is we're going to find a form of survivability and get our HP back up. With a tier rate at 4, damage at 6.45. Is it a one run? I wouldn't say yes. Obviously, survivability is key, but anything can happen. We can find 4.5 volt battery. We can, or a car battery. We'll make it work. So, next thing is try to find a shop quickly. Wow, I ran into that one. So, we could double our chances on getting some more soul hearts faster. What you got in here? Special tiers clutch in rooms like these. We could just stay put. Don't have to worry. We got the range for this too. Blow all that up. A rotten heart would be nice. Get some flies out of it. But we're looking for a shop. There's our boss. We might as well get it out the way now. Pop Satanic Bible, and it's gonna be, we're gonna lose our stats now because it's gonna be Horsemen, which is a huge downside of doing um, Book of Revelations around. Obviously with both books, there's a, there's a cost, right? Satanic Bible, you, you remove yourself um, from regular stat ups. And again, that's the same thing with Book of Revelations. Now you're gonna get Cube of Meats or Ball of Bandages, which sucks, but we have enough for all. Of course, our Devil Deal is gonna be Krampus. If you can give me Ooh, careful lump of coal that would have been great but you gave me head of krampus which is something i'm not really looking forward to but with book of revelations now we need to take a little bit more time and go ahead and explore the entire wow or just run into stuff we need to take the time and explore the entire floor just to get as many active pops with the book of revelations and of course we're looking for a shop so we got we have to oh can't believe i missed out on that, that uh so hard and there's our shop careful get rid of you where'd you go and uh, mind you, we're one um, friend away from getting conjoined. So with a tier rate that it is that we got, I mean, we should be okay. What do you got? Mama Mega. A little too late in my opinion. I'm going to grab this temperance card though. Just in case we get too much HP. We're going to knock ourselves down a little bit to go ahead and to whore Babylon status. It's a shame that we got this much HP and doing absolutely nothing with it. If our stats were a lot better, I would avoid the whore Babylon status completely. And I don't know why I grabbed that. All right, so this is the floor we have to. Do we have enough time to teleport out? We do. We, we have enough time to be cheeky and grab a boss rush item and just teleport out. We got to find our teleportation card, though. Oh, man, that could have been bad. But hey, look how mediocre our stats are, man. Very, very mediocre. I'm actually going to Tempest Machine now. Just to get into Horde Babylon status. Protect ourselves. Alright, let's go. We need more damage quickly. We need to start moving. Play-Doh Cookie with Conjoin is going to be insane if we can get that going. Huge fan of Play-Doh Cookie. Especially with a tier rate at 4. Is it based off luck though? I mean, luck is such an underrated stat line as well. Man, we can get that going. We got to go quick though. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. That freeze effect is nice. Careful. Slow him down. Pop Book of Revelations and keep him moving. Grab that bomb. Let's go right. We got to look for that, that uh, skull with the X on it. That's what we're looking for. Hey, man, if I can get some more tier 8, that'd be sick. I didn't check this room. There's nothing in here. Okay, go up. Pop everybody. Just finesse everyone. And our stats are like, they're, obviously, they're mediocre. Like, they're way better than start of the shift. Start of the shift. Start of the run. But at the same time, 
We need more. Yeah, explosive bolts gonna just destroy you. Yeah, okay. And we're at 18 minute mark, so we need to find this quickly. Get rid of you. ASAP. Oh, I almost ran into his projectile shot, which would have been would have been horrible. And we need flight. I mean, obviously we get flight when we fight the beast. Automatically. Oh, careful. But it will save us from like creep on the ground or anything along the lines of that. Terror card, death, take it. Let's go left. I think this is the wrong way. Save the death card for a big room. Careful. Careful. There you go. Perfect. Pop up revelation. Let's go. Got a little protection for HP. There's our boss, which but we didn't find our teleportation card, which is kind of sucks. 18 minutes, 47 seconds. Going here. Body in the box. Buy it. Give me conjoin. And go. I like conjoin. Conjoin with Play-Doh cookie is pretty sick. I won't lie to you. The more DPS, the better. And because we have explosive oil, it should help our odds getting things going faster. All right, go, go, go. Got to find our teleportation cards. Not in here. So we're looking for a full card. And it'd be a shame if we don't get it. Since we went the complete wrong way. Got to work our way all the way down. I have a feeling it's on the right, though. Obviously, since that's the only way we didn't go. Got to go quick. Trash. That'd be nice room, though, if we can get flight. Blow you all up. I remember, we got our death card. We're saving it for this room. Boom. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Pop this. Oh, man. Did I? Oh, it's in the south. We're definitely not going to make that boss rush. No, nah, we're not going to make that boss rush. We might as well take our time. Might as well take our time. That's disappointing. And there is an arcade if we need to, but we got we got what we needed already. Wow, it was the room on the, the down south. Literally the room before. That's unfortunate. Grab that. And might as well clear everything out. Now we're looking for batteries, anything along the lines of that. Get a nice little HP going. Can join Play-Doh cookies, phenomenal. And we want to go into our cursor. Careful. We have to go into it. We need something. And it was nothing. Give me that. Give me that. Um, I thought that was a soul heart drop. No tinted rocks either. Kind of disappointing. I would love to play you because you have an opportunity to drop some red HP, but I don't think we're going to get a devil deal. If we do, that'd be great. I got a lot of HP to get rid of. All right, let's go fight. Mom, we got to leave our lunch bag here to at least unlock Tainted Eve. Again, if we're going to lose the run, we lose the run, but we got to get some type of value out of it. Why did I tier rate drop? 3.68. Oh, why am I standing there? <laughs> Careful. That's interesting. Oh, our tier rate dropped because we have conjoined. All right, stats dropped. Stats dropped. So we need more tier rate back up if we're going to make this work. Is that a penguin? What? <laughs> Buddy in the box gave me a penguin? That's fire. What are you doing? And we want Polaroid invincibility. We got to get rid of these red hearts. Try to make this work. So grab Satanic Bible. I mean, Book of Revelations pop. Grab the Polaroid and drop our launch box here. Grab the full card. Full our way out. And hope for the best. So let's do it. Let's work our way backwards and try our hardest to get as much HP as possible. That is the goal. Get ready, you ASAP. Because you're going to blow up with your little brimstone. Um, I'll give me monkey's paw. Can't do that. It's going to be tough to fight these guys. I want to tough fight anybody. We don't have that great stats. We need Plato Cookie to go off. One enemy at a time. That's what we got to focus on. One enemy, one room, one floor. And really hope for that. Strength card is going to be huge. Oh, man. This is going to be annoying. We're going to have to raw fight this. Or just press the button. But I don't think that works with the Satanic Bible. I mean, the Book of Revelations. I don't think we're going to get an active charge on it. And we're doing pretty well. Yeah, that was nice. Pop that open. What does that do? Just pop the button? Yeah. Remember, we got to get as many charges as possible. Careful, careful. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Blow you up and blow you up. I don't know how important money is right now. I, I'm not sure. I'm not super familiar. Is there a shop in here? 
I always forget when I do runs like these. Pop of revelations. Grab the key and continue. Yes, there is a shop and a and a, a treasure room. Hopefully, we get something good out of it. Get rid of you. Stay close. Let's go into here first. Bird cage leaps on the enemy that deals the first damage to Isaac in a room. Deals 45 damage and releases a rock wave. Chases the enemies afterwards. Nah, I'm good. No damage tears up. I hate the guillotine. People like it. But you know what? I got conjoined. My shots are already crazy anyway. It's a nice little stat boost. Yikes, man. We look crazy. A guillotine run? Are you kidding me? Can we make this work? Can we make it happen? Oh, so hard. Um, if I think if I drop a bomb, where's my body? It sucks that we don't have flight anymore. No, that doesn't work. Okay, what if I drop a bomb here? There's a way to get over that. Yep, there it is. Blow everything up. Just the eternal heart's gonna ruin me. Cause we're not gonna get devil deals anymore. Careful with this. Oh no, I maxed my HP up. Oh, I lost my horror Babylon status. Blow everybody up. Plato cookie can join guillotine run. Let's go. If there's a way to get like a temperance machine, doing it. We, we don't have flight. Remember, can my head grab these? No. Okay. I thought I could. I thought I could. All right. There's a boss. We don't want to go in there just yet. Hide behind the rocks. All right. Don't want to go in there. That's dad's note. We don't want to do just yet. Let's clear the entire floor. Hopefully we can find the temperance machine. Hopefully we can find like a red chest to teleport us straight to like a devil deal or something. I mean, that's my fault for getting like with blind items, right? You're not supposed to take them, but like I like to have a little fun with the run. I'm going to take them anyway. Careful with this. Pop him. That was, those guys are just annoying. Careful. Boom. Pop a book revelations. We need as much HP as possible. Now that we are in a way headless. It's dangerous. Careful with this. But the good thing about conjoin is we're staying far. And we got enough shots going out. Especially with Play-Doh Cookie. Yeah, so hard. Yep. And we got 44 cents. We could probably make something happen if we find something worth our money right now. We gotta find Curse Room as well. Curse Room is important, like this one. Go in and out, reset it. Go straight to it. Yes. Immediately playing you. No. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Rip. That sucks, man. That could have been our gateway out. He could have hooked it up with the pact or something insane. Like Leviathan. Or, uh, give me something, man. He could have hooked it up. Hopefully, we could find another one. And get rid of these red hearts. But we need that whore Babylon status, man. And we need that Polar Ward Invincibility if we're going to make this work. Careful. All right, pop book again. Complete dead end. I mean, at least technically we got the HP to make this work. Our stats are super bad though, man. It's like hot garbage. Hot, hot garbage right now. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we're sitting at 1.53 speed. Even in Horror Babylon status, we're not looking too good. Did I go everywhere? Yeah, I went everywhere here. Four point, I mean, I might, at this point, I might as well grab this Eternal Heart, right? Uh, 4.18 tier rate, which is okay. And then we have... We might as well blow this up. See what it is. Use diaper? No, I like monkey's paw. And damage at 4.10. Range I don't care for. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Let's grab this dad's note with one of my head off my body. I say one of my head because we're conjoined with three heads. Alright, at least HP is on the control. Alright. Crack the sky is sick, man. If we can get that going more. Grab that. Did I pick it up? Just run down. Yep. That's all you gotta do. Just run. Grab bombs. Bombs. We gotta use everything. And I'm not even... Yeah, let's explore the first couple rooms just to get as much HP as possible before we do this. And the, look, the thing about guillotine, right? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this a lot with guillotine. It is so confusing. Yeah, you got a nice little stat boost, but man... Is it confusing? What's in here? Nothing. Okay. To see where your head's at and your body, it just throws me off all the time. Cause I, I, you don't have flight. So like you just, yeah, we took bad damage there. Explosive did us dirty. 
A nice battery payout would be ph phenomenal. And you know what, though? I don't think we should be exploring. I think we should just go. I think we should just go straight to where we got to get to. Pick up the crack key. So we got to lose out on the strength card. But we need... Uh, what did I step in? Is that a giant candle? What a horrible room. Oh, man. All right, so let's wait for everybody here. Go. Yeah, that, that's a horrible room. Pop our book. We need to keep our HP as is. This could be dangerous. Pop you immediately, please. Just go. Do want to take as much. We got to preserve our HP. We got to make this work. And I, I think that might be the only good thing that we have is the fact that we have a lot of HP. Guillotine. There's my body. I got to pay attention to my body. My body is the most important thing right now. That is my temple. Careful. And go straight to work on them. Blow them up. Careful. Eve bird doing his thing. Clear everybody out. Grab the bomb. Grab this. Go left. Get on out. HP is super low, man. We're sitting at what? Five red hearts and one soul heart? That's wild. This could be dangerous, too. I'm a big fan of conjoined, though. So if we could make this work somehow, that'd be great. Somehow. And enemies like this that swarm the room, you gotta be careful, man. One at a time. One at a time. Because you don't want to overwhelm the run. I mean, the room. Don't need that. Go into another big room. Keep our distance. We got the range for it. Play-Doh Cookie can join. Could probably save it. Just gotta really watch our positioning. Might as well grab this. May never know. Could find a nice little fortune teller machine. Could hook it up with HP. Careful. Pop them. Boom. Got that bomb. Let's go left. It's the only way. Let them all pop. It's alright. Pop our book of revelations again. Secure some more HP. Wait. Ooh. You know what? This could be pretty cool. Right? They're all stuck to one spot. Yeah, why not? Oh, but Monkey's Paw has a whole, uh, whole value. Spawns one black card when Isaac health gets down to half a heart. Yeah, why not? And this could be huge right here. Give me something good. Chest in a chest. Come on, bro. <laughs> Give me something good. Money, all right. I was hoping for like a pretty great payout. But we got absolutely nothing out of that. And there's nothing in there. Let's go left. Let's get on out. We cannot... We can't afford to explore. Again, one at a time again. These enemies are just super annoying. Yeah, look, see? The room's overwhelmed now. And since we have explosive we have to really watch our positioning. Grab that, grab that, go left. Get the boss man here. Boom, explosive thank you. I got a little too close though. I could've been, that could've been way worse than what it was. Careful, explosive yep. Grab it. Any tinted rocks? No, no tinted rocks in this like last two, three runs we've been doing. Don't even explore. Just get on out. Let's go this way. Caves one. We're almost there, guys. Don't worry. We're almost out of here. Now I'm kind of curious. Can I bomb my way out? Like, do I have to do these rooms? Yes, I do because I say tiny but uh, book revelations. Let's go up. Blow you up. Blow you up. Drop a book on him. Oh man, I had a feeling. I gotta go quicker than that. I gotta remember that's what he does. He's charmed. And he can't hit me. And I got, I got conjoined. Pop my book. That was a lot of damage that I took in that one. Oh boy, we have to do this. How are we gonna do this? Especially with the guillotine. Alright, focus on my body. There. Yeah, you know what? I tried. It just didn't work out. It didn't work out in my favor. Basement 2. We're almost there. Now it's gonna get a little harder. Oh, this electricity is fire. Don't, don't don't get too close to me, please. There we go. Dice shard reveals all pedestals and pickups in the current room. Hey. If we maybe we could find like a beggar, re-roll it. I mean, we don't need HP at this point. We got the money. This electricity is insane. Like that little Jacob's ladder effect. That's insane. What are the odds I get? This is the buddy you want. I'm assuming it's because of the buddy in the box. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Pull back, pull back. Boom, boom. All right. Huge soul heart. Grab it. 
And that's the issue with the guillotine, man. I just lose my, my positioning. Because that's all Isaac's about, man. Isaac's all about positioning. Like, once your positioning's off, man, I'm telling you, it's so difficult to really pay attention to what's going on. But there, there are players out there that use the guillotine. And they're like, yo, they praise it. Like, it's so good. I'm like, bro, okay, for you, <laughs> I can't. My playing style is destroyed completely. Mind you, we have way too much HP. We're not even Horde Babylon status. We're just rolling with it. And we're hoping Monkey's Paul pays in dividends when the time is right. Like, that could save everything. Let's go up north. Where is this room? A lot of add-ons. Oh, we almost got hit. Who's here? Oh, uh, you. Big boy. Careful. Give me a beggar. Give me somebody. I'm actually going to clear it out. I'm going to clear it out. A dime we don't need. But unless we find money because power. Again, the dice shard was used for absolutely nothing. Get ready, big gish. Big gish. You got to go. Stats are super medial. I can't believe our stats are like this right now. And we're just letting it rock. We're like, we're okay with it. Look how long it's taken. Again, yo, that dogma fight is going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be very long. And the horsemen too, just because like the longer the horsemen are out, the harder they get. The way harder. So we're going to have to make this work. The world. Pop it. Alright, so let's... It's a big area. Let's get on out of here. Fast as we could. Explosivo, yep. Enemies that jump off the screen. Again, Dogma's another one. Tick. Yeah. Yeah. We need that. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying. Hey, this could be huge right here. This could be huge. This could drop so hard that we need. And we, want, we need this right now. We got to do it until we get max HP. Whoa, left hand. Oh, I can't even grab it because I picked up the tick. I only picked up the tick to lower the percentage of their HP. That's the only reason why I did it. Just anything that's going to help us in the run. Anything. Drop some soul hearts, please. I can't, I can't pick up anything. I have crack key. There you go. Thank you. Two more. Drop two more. And then we're good to go. We're at max HP. But you know what? If we could find a way like a temperance machine as well. So, I love a card pretty good, but if we could find a Tempest Machine, we could take that risk and go lower on our HP. And then hopefully find like a Sun card. I mean, we can't because of the crack key, but if we could find like a Sun card or something that's going to get us max HP immediately, that can also work out as well. Or maybe Guppy's Paw. I'll get rid of Book of Revelations for Guppy's Paw. If it was like a way to do it. All right, let's go. Get rid of everybody. And now preserve our HP. We're at max HP now. Careful, explosive. Oh, thank you. Get rid of everybody. King Baby's ruining it. Oh, of course I would take a hit. Let's do it again. Hold on, hold on. Let's clear out the entire floor first. I feel like we're holding no value by just taking all this damage and not really clearing out the floor and then spending all our money on that fortune teller machine because right like we're at, we were at 70 cents now we're at 33 cents we only got like what two three soul hearts like that's pretty bad value um i'm actually gonna save our book for our fight it's better to use it that way and let's go all the way down thankfully these guys are easy man but again where's my body at? okay pop you freeze everybody some more bombs sure we're gonna need everything and there is escape route, but this is considering it's the last. I'm going to try to clear it out. Try to clear it out. See, maybe I could get some a red chest. Tear, I can't pick that up. That would help out. That teardrop charm would be huge considering we have a um, Play-Doh cookie. It should pop up way more faster. Like these gimmicky tier effects should go crazy. Get rid of you, man. This guy is a tank. Look at him. It's a big boy. Careful with everybody. Who's left? Okay. All right. So one last room. Any value? No. Well, this guy's pretty tough. Well, like, freeze him. Yeah. Pop him. Almost got hit. Got hit. Got so far out of it though. We're good. And a bomb. Okay. So let's go. Let's just get on out. I mean, there was one more room to clear, but I'm not gonna torture anybody. Let's just get it out the way. Okay. Interesting. Oh man, that's huge. <laughs> That was huge. Nice little damage up. 
That was perfect. Okay. We gotta remember to use the crack key. Let's just go. What do you got for me? Mom's bottle of pills. I'm gonna touch it. No need for it. And we got our book of revelations ready to go when we need it. But first things first. Let's go pay a visit to nice tainted Eve. Hello, girl. You've unlocked tainted Eve. Alright, so at least we got that out the way. Let's go fight. Let's go pay that dogma fight. Let's go. Go straight to it. Now again, we don't got a lot going for ourselves. So we really got to It's all skill based at this point. So let's get rid of the TV first. Explosive O. This is where you shine, man. This is where Play-Doh Cookie can join. Should come in handy. I right, stay right here. Oh, I touched the, uh, the, the television. Pop a book now. Screw it. Pay attention to the body. Where's my body? Pop. There we go. Thank you. Phase one done. Phase two. Dogma. Go. I don't have flight. Just an FYI. I don't have flight. Where is this coming? Okay, so it's coming this way. Coming this way. Just got a giant circle. That's all you got to do. Oh, we froze him. All right, that works. I about to say, I think because we froze him, it threw his whole pattern off. Where is he? Now, on a side note, completely random, but if you free a freeze dogma, careful. Oh, that was way too close. If you freeze dogma or put him in like a fear effect, you can like soft lock the game. I've had that happen to me before, and I was just so upset. Well, how that happened? Yo, I was about to say we just like, no, we no hit him. Explosive is gonna take you out. Down goes dogma, and we have a pretty decent amount of HP. But this is where the, the true challenge comes in, right? It's fighting the horseman. Even though we got holy mantle, this is gonna be very annoying. Even with the tick. Well, we, we really need Explosive Ball to do his thing. And we gotta dodge everything. Careful. Oh, farting baby. Yeah. Stay by farting baby. Careful. Too many shots flying everywhere. And keep it like this. Now we gotta look. But again, this is the, the part where it's gonna get a little difficult. Is It's just too much going on. I think he's one of my worst horsemen to fight. Farting baby is gonna hold us down gonna protect us from the shots he's just gonna eat everything down goes the first horseman let's go give me that coin second horseman's up should be a little bit more simpler again we got to keep our distance kill of explosive oh what is he doing is he confused i'm down if he's confused freeze him shoot him up the more shots we get off him the better look at that he's on 50 hp we're actually doing a lot better than i thought Stay by farting, but anything that's projectile shots, we gotta stay by farting, baby. Oh, holy mantle's broken. Not what I wanted. He's not even looking at us. I'm down, bro. Give it that fly. All right. Give me that coin. Oh, I missed. Okay. War is next. Pretty simple. Just gotta watch his flames. Careful. Oh, I forgot you could get hit by that. Okay, okay. Double tapped. E. Careful. Careful, careful here. Phase one is done. Phase two is next. He's just going to bum rush. We need to make sure Explosivo goes off. That's all we need to care about right now. For Explosivo. And he's done. Explosivo's going to take him out. Yep. Yeesh. Last horseman. Pop our book. Protect ourselves a little bit more. We have a decent... If we can run into the beast fight with at least six red hearts. Well, just no tap. We can't get no tap right now. We got to play safe. Watch our body. That's what's confusing me. Our head and our body. Run away here. Reposition ourselves. Where is he going? This could be pretty messy. Careful explosive oh. Watch our body. Oh, what hit us? I have no idea what hit us. I think we tapped ourselves with explosive oh. Just be careful. And this is why I picked up conjoin, man. This is why I picked up conjoin. Just to get more DPS out. All right, battle of attrition time. Let's do it. And look, we already got the 10% off of his HP and that is because of the tick. I think it's 10 to 15% off. That's what we wanted. And explosive is gonna do everything. We just really need to watch our position. That's all it is when you fight the beast. And we have the speed to avoid this. Thankfully, I've had a run where I have really low speed and yo, this move just destroyed me. 
So happy to see us safe. Watch out. Keep shooting. Don't stop shooting. Because we got explosive oh. We want those hits to hit him. Where is it? There he is. He's, uh, oh, wow. I wasn't even paying attention to his HP. He's at 15%. Under 50%. Almost at a quarter. Did we really make this work with guillotine? There's no way we just won an EVE run against the Beast with guillotine. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Beast runs out the way. EVE is completely done. Like and subscribe. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time.